Tonight, new allegations against the family behind Art Van Furniture. A lawsuit accuses them of looting the company, making fraudulent transfers right before they sold it. And now the founding family is firing back. Fox 2's Taryn Asher joins us tonight with a closer look. Yes, rarely we hear from the company when they are sued in bankruptcy court, but the Art Van Furniture family, which has a long history in this town, wanted to set the record straight. In response to claims the Van Eslander family of Art Van Furniture cheated another company out of millions, they put out a strong statement defending their name and reputation. Quote, make no mistake, the bankruptcy proceedings may be labeled Art Van, but this is about the consequences of business decisions made by the company that purchased our family business in 2017. End quote. In the complicated 86-page complaint filed in Delaware's federal bankruptcy court by creditors who always look to get their money back, it's alleged Art Van Furniture sold four of the store's properties, which left the company that took over the furniture empire with no assets. Fox 2 legal analyst Charlie Langton says the bankruptcy case simply comes down to this. Whether or not the family, the Art Van family, when they sold a lot of their stores, was it a legitimate transaction? Because they got a lot of cash. $434 million. And according to the complaint, part of the deal to finance the sale to a Boston private equities firm involved leasing back the stores to Art Van, not realizing there was more value to the Art Van furniture empire than just the properties. They leased the stores back. So when this new company bought them, they took those stores with leases. And when then that new company couldn't figure out what to do, they went bankrupt. Art Van S. Lander, who passed away in 2018, founded Art Van in 1959, a thriving family business that was debt free until it was sold, according to the family statement. They claim the buyer promised the commitment to employees and creditors would continue, but instead they claim employees lost jobs and creditors didn't get paid, sullying the family name. That's why last year the family bought back just the name to keep it out of the wrong hands. I think the new company failed to take into consideration the value of the great marketing that the Art Van family had in Detroit. And really that made it a lot. And when he was out of the picture, this company couldn't exist. The trustee is now going after the Van Eslander family and the late founder's estate to recover $105 million for the bankrupt company's creditors. But the Van Eslander family claims the problems were caused by the buyer of the business well after Art Van was sold. And the trustee's efforts are, quote, an unfair attempt to shift losses to us that we will fight in court, end quote. And also alleged in the complaint that after the sale of the properties, lease obligations went up significantly and the Van Elslander Trust and each of the children then received multi-million dollar payments. So a lot to this. So did the family have any say, anything to say about that? And not specifically about that, but you know, it really does come down to those real estate transactions and we were talk talking, there's fine print. Fine print. Mm -hmm. there's a, print. Yeah, there's a lot to it. And of course, a lot in that 86 page complaint, but it will be decided ultimately in bankruptcy court.